Well, it's always held a prominent position in Score Golf's top 100 course ranking. And when you think about it, there are not many courses in this country that can combine the classic layout of Mississauga with the rich, rich history. Let's take a closer look right now at the Mississauga Golf and Country Club. Located just west of Toronto, Mississauga Golf and Country Club is a beautiful 18-hole course situated along the banks of the Credit River. With a history that stretches back over 100 years and includes six Canadian Open championships, Mississauga is truly one of Canada's most famous golf clubs. There's so much to discuss when focusing on the historic course, from the incredibly manicured fairways and the elegant clubhouse that peers over the valley holes, to the world-class Canadian Open champions, whose name graced the wall behind the first tee box. Everywhere you look, there is something amazing to be seen at Mississauga Golf and Country Club. The club dates back to 1906, with the first 18-hole course laid out in 1909. Just a few years later, the clubhouse was constructed for $30,000, and that same clubhouse is still in full use today. In 1928, the great Stanley Thompson lengthened the course in order to prepare it for the 1931 Canadian Open. One of the club's earliest members was the legendary Ada McKenzie, who was just a teenager when the course opened. It was at Mississauga where McKenzie honed her skills that would lead her to become a member of the Canadian Golf Hall of Fame and go on to start the Ladies Golf Club of Toronto. Mississauga continued to prosper over the years, and in 1931, it hosted the Open Championship the first of six that would see some of the world's best golfers visit the course. That year, Walter Hagen went on to win the title after playing a 36-hole playoff against Percy Allis, father of noted broadcaster Peter Allis. Just seven years later, Slam and Sammy Sneed went on to win the 1938 Canadian Open. In 1942, Craig Wood won the title, giving Mississauga three champions who are all current members of the World Golf Hall of Fame. While Mississauga would go on to host three more national championships, perhaps the most memorable came in 1965, when Jack Nicklaus was looking to win the one title that would elude him throughout his career. However, the 537-yard 12th hole, known as the Big Chief, doomed Nicklaus's chances. And that's a big bogey safe. Gene Littler has proven that he's still a great champion. Amongst the first to congratulate Gene is runner-up Jack Nicklaus. That year, close to 60,000 spectators showed up to watch stars such as Arnold Palmer and Gary Player. And in 1974, the championship was played once more on the 18-hole course before becoming a fixture at Glen Abbey. And when all was said and done, Bobby Nichols was the last man standing. While the history is rich with tournaments and membership growth, it's the course that's truly remarkable. With over 49 different varieties of trees lining the fairways, playing this 18-hole course can be a relaxing and friendly walk, as long as you avoid those trees, of course. Well, it's one of the old classics, uh, old classic layouts, small greens, well bunkered, uh, great definition of the fairways. It forces you to control your, your tee ball because, again, you need a lot of accuracy hitting into the greens to control the second shots. The first hole is just steps away from the clubhouse and begins the descent into the Credit River Valley where the majority of the course lays. The par 3 third is defended by a handful of heavy bunkers and gives golfers a fair shot at birdie early in the round. Once in the valley, you really get to see hundreds of trees scattered throughout as they are as much a part of the personality of the course as the greens and fairways. The fifth is your first look at a par 5 and it stretches well over 500 yards and the seventh hole is the first that crosses the Credit River. The ninth hole sits next to the river and any shot right of the fairway would disappear into the rapids of the mild river. After a quick break at the halfway house comes the beautiful par 3 10th hole. Off in the distance you can see the clubhouse overlooking the entire valley floor. The 12th is the enigmatic Big Chief, the same hole that buried Jack Nicklaus's chances twice at the 65 and 74 Canadian Opens. Well back in the day this hole wasn't playing 588 yards, back in the day it was a little bit shorter and players could reach in two shots. Unfortunately, back then, he had hit his second shot into the water, and it turned out costing him the, the title when you look back at the final result. A true three-shot par five uh, it, today is, is far and few between. So most long hitters uh, are about 100 yards into the green, and it's amazing what can happen when you got a pitching wedge in your hand and a little bit of water in front of you. The 13th careens back across the Credit River, making this drive a difficult one. Too hard, and you may find yourself again in the water, while another 140 yards awaits you on the other side of that river. 
The 15th is perhaps Mississauga's most memorable, as it's the final valley hole. It requires a good tee shot onto a relatively tight fairway, setting up a short iron demanding precision into an elevated green. Uh, I think as a, a short par four, um, changing it up off the tee, it, it really puts a different club in your hand and it makes you think a little. The elevated uh, shot into the green is always uh, a challenge. Having a blind, uh, blind hole location uh, presents uh, unique challenges, so a little different. You'll see me on this hole as I take on the great Paul Henderson a little later in the show. Holes 16, 17 and 18 are played adjacent to the clubhouse and the 18th carries you home as you finish on a green neatly bunkered by a pair of traps that requires you to make a tough shot to play for a birdie. In addition to an incredible history and a beautiful course, Mississauga has a great practice facility with an enormous driving range, putting green and chipping location to help improve your game. Like any other club, there are wonderful amenities here like tennis courts for people who prefer to use rackets over golf clubs. And come winter, the Rockhounds get swept up by the curling rink, which boasts six sheets and a very modern looking arena that was actually built back in the late 50s. While golf seems to be the foundation to one of Canada's oldest and most celebrated clubs, it's the culture of the membership that seems to keep this club together and looking ahead to the next 100 years of success. Well, I think when you make that turn off Mississauga Road and come through our stone gates and onto the property, you, you, really, you realize you're somewhere special. And that feeling continues as you go into our Tudor-style clubhouse. Everything from the staff to the surroundings to the terrace room where you're looking out onto the beautiful vistas of the golf course, it's just, it really feels like a special place. But what really makes the club is the membership. And in my opinion, we have the friendliest, uh, most sophisticated, great group of members here that, that any club could ask for. They treat each other with respect, they treat the, the staff with respect, and uh, they are incredibly welcoming to, to new members coming in as well. With a, a club of this tradition and culture, uh, our, our, our long-standing members are very welcoming to our new members coming in. Mississauga Golf and Country Club is truly a jewel in Canada's golf landscape, one that will forever be known for the rich history of national championships played here and for its incredible valley holes surrounding the Credit River Valley. When we return, I'll tee it up with one of Canada's hockey heroes and Mississauga member, Paul Henderson. I'm joined now by the most famous member here at Mississauga, so I'm told. Look at this, it's legendary Paul Henderson, the man who scored, of course, the, uh, the most famous goal in hockey history. Of course, a uh, great Leaf player, and also, uh, I understand, a former club champion here at Mississauga. What's, what's more thrilling, <laughs> scoring that goal or being the club champion here? <laughs> well, the club championship was right after 72, I'll tell you. It was a big thrill in uh, 2004. You've been here, since, as you said, since 74. What, what's the best part about, uh, what do you like about being a member here at Mississauga? Well, it, it's, the, it, it's just such an oasis. The water goes through it, the picturesque. Uh, I, I just love it. And I tell people, if I had one game left, I'd play Mississauga. That's how much I love the golf. Of course. And you do play out here a lot. You're, uh, from what I hear, hear, you're out here pretty regularly. I can play a little golf. It's a bad, it's tough to do, but I force myself to do it. And what's the secret to playing well here? I uh, hit it long, hit it straight. <laughs> That's uh, easy, right? <laughs> yeah. You've obviously played with a lot of hockey players. You played golf, I mean, with a lot of sure. hockey players. Any of them, any of them standouts in your mind? Oh, there's some really good players. Uh, Gary Lehman played for the Leafs here. Excellent. Uh, I mean, he hits it like the pro. Lemieux is a couple of handicap. Uh, Dan Quinn. Uh, yeah. Pierre LaRouche, uh, some of the guys played on that several, uh, celebrity tour, really good players. Of course, Dan Quinn spends some time caddying for Ernie Els. Yes, her, he does. Her buddies down there. Have you ever thought about uh, trying to join that celebrity tour? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I like to eat. <laughs> I have to ask you about the most famous goal. Does ever ever a day go by when someone doesn't talk about it? Yeah, this is the odd day. If I don't go out of my home, <laughs> then I do. But it's an amazing thing. And uh, the great thing I love about it, there's no negative to it. Uh, like you, we were at the Masters. You know, people yelling from the crowd, even at the Masters. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, it was the only thing I did in 18 years, so I got to have something to fall no, back you on. <laughs> you had a great career and, uh, of course, spent a lot of years with the Leafs and stuff. You must still get uh, reminded of that. Oh, sure. I, I love playing in Toronto. I think my personality suited uh, Toronto very, very well. And actually, the reason I'm a member here, Ernie Lewis was our team doctor. And he brought me out here to play a, a game of golf. And uh, that day, I went up and got papers to join. And so I've been here 38 years now. Well, 38 years. Well, you must know something about the course. And you want to show me how to play this hole? Sure. All Love right. to. Let's go play. OK, down the center is good, Bob. Just, just like he called it. What a shot. 
Boy, this is going to be a tough act to follow. <laughs> I hope I can get it airborne. <laughs> Let's see. Good ball. Okay, we'll find those and we'll play them from there. Okay, Paul, we're uh, here for the second shot now. Uh, just to, just before I get let you hit this in uh, tight and beat me, I know you will. <laughs> what what do you like about playing the the golf course itself? Well, I, I like everybody. I, I love the trees. I love the tree-lined fairways, most of the case. Uh, the fall, you see the salmon coming up the river. Really? We've got deer out here. We've got uh, coyotes. Uh, so it's it's really a, just a walk on the park, really. Now this shot, we're playing up to the elevated green here. What's the what's your advice here? Well, it usually plays a little longer, probably about seven, eight yards longer because it's uphill. So okay. uh, the thing is, don't be short in those traps. You're better off being a little longer than short. <laughs> okay. And it's a, actually, it's a good, it's a easier pin today. Uh, it's a deep pin, so you got lots of green. Uh, the most difficult shot is when they put it right at the front, uh, yeah, false front there, and then you can get into trouble pretty easily. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll let you go first and show me the way. Okay, thank you. Looks pretty good. Yep, okay. That'll be okay. Safe, I think. Yep. Well, neither one of us hit the green. Yeah, I like yours a lot better than mine, though. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not liking this one too much. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Get down there. Whoa, I got it on anyway. Get down there. Good shot. I'll take it. That's not bad. Show me how it's done now. Oh, that was silky. Silky, don't go in. Oh, we almost had an accident. We almost had an accident. I haven't done a thing since 72. <laughs> no. <laughs> Got caught in my skirt. Thanks, Paul. I appreciate Thank it. You. It was Thank very you good. Guys. Thank you have you. a wonderful course here.